Okay. Today we will use this opportunity to discuss a few interesting radiological cases which will have a very classical imaging finding which has been asked as a question many times and uh, it has been asked as a spotter for MD residents all the time. So I'll be showing you a few images. Uh, in precise, I'll be discussing two cases today and let us see you know how we can you know try and assess these. Okay. The first case that we want to see today is an MRI brain. Okay. Now, please look at this MRI image and tell me what sequence do you think this is? This is a T2 weighted MRI image, axial T2 weighted MRI image. This is a 14 year old boy who presented to us with complaints of dystonia. A 14 year old boy who had prime complaints of dystonia and MRI imaging, imaging was done and this T2 weighted MRI image is available to us. Do you think, uh, can you see the finding? Can you pick up the finding anywhere? Yes, let us look at this now. There is a, a T2 hyper intense area at the anterior, uh, at the medial part of the globus pallidus, which is surrounded by T2 hypo intensity bilaterally. Can you see this now? Is that making sense to you? There is T2 hyper intensity in the globus pallidus which is surrounded by a hypo intensity bilaterally symmetrical. What do you think this is? Now this has been given a very characteristic name of a sign which is asked many times in exams and this is kept as a spotter for MD residents all the time. This is called as, now look at this. This is the eye of the tiger, central bright surrounding dark. Now look at this, central bright surrounding dark. This is called as the eye of the tiger sign, which is characteristic of a disease called as Helleverden's past disease. Characteristic of Helleverden's past disease. Now, once, uh, now once we you know discuss this disease a little bit more in detail, this is etiology of this disease is idiopathic. Although latest hypothesis, they believe this to be a pentothenate kinase associated neurodegeneration. This is uh, the appearance is described because of gliosis in the central part and iron deposition in the peripheral part. Usually people will present in the first or early second decade. The patients will present in the first or the early second decade and they will have uh, symptoms of dementia and extra pyramidal dystonia like symptoms. So this is a classical sign called as eye of the tiger sign seen in Helleverden's past disease, which is now also called as pentothenate kinase associated neurodegeneration. Okay, now let us look at the next sign. This is a post surgical patient, and this is the CT scan image which is presented to us in the morning uh, of in the early morning rounds. What do you think? Now, I am sure we all are trained enough to understand this is brain, okay, and there is air collection in the cranium. This is called as pneumocephalus. Now, sometimes it is a diagnostic dilemma to differentiate between a tension pneumocephalus where you would have to do a surgical intervention from a non-tension pneumocephalus. So, a very interesting sign has been described which is, uh, you know, if you see there is separation of, there is, the air is tracking into the interhemispheric fissure, air is tracking into the interhemispheric fissure and two parts of the two hemispheres are separated by this air. This has been called as, uh, you know, very interesting name has been given to this sign. This has been described by many authors as Mount Fuji sign. Mount Fuji is a mountain which has two peaks, two peaks. So similar to that, now we are seeing two peaked mountain. This is called as Mount Fuji sign and this sign indicates tension pneumocephalus. Had it been a non-tension pneumocephalus, the surface tension which is causing the two hemispheres to stay, stay together would not have been, we could not have, the pressure would not have been enough to displace and uh, widen the interhemispheric fissure. So this is called as the Mount Fuji sign. So these are two interesting neuroradiological signs which are, you know, we, which are nowadays being asked in exams as well as to MD residents as a spotter. One is a Mount Fuji sign, other is eye of the tiger appearance. Soon in the same series, we will be sharing more cases with you 
in uh, times to come so that you know we can build up a thought process of how to interpret the images thank you very much